Our next speaker is Mr. Shahel Sheikh from the Consular General of Britain. He is a Minister Consular Sector Director. I would like to thank Anglo American for the invitation to speak at this event. I'm delighted to be here representing the UK government. And thank you, Director Ma, for your excellent opening remarks. I'd also like to thank all the other speakers and attendees here today. The UK government is very much focused on the energy transition. Access to and the use of critical minerals and metals will be crucial to this transition. And within this sphere, PGM is crucially important. This is why the resources that Anglo-American supply, as well as their innovative work, is so important, with China being a priority market. I would like to focus in on the hydrogen sector, the development of which is a top priority for the UK government. PGMs will be central to enabling this sector develop and for the UK and China to reach our emissions targets. To this end, we as government are supporting hydrogen development in the UK and supporting UK companies partner and trade with foreign companies overseas. The UK has established a number of policies in the recent period to outline the ambitions and commitments to support the development of the hydrogen industry in the UK. Notable examples include the hydrogen strategy, which was published in August 2021 and the Hydrogen Net Zero Investment Roadmap, published in April 22 and updated in April this year. The investment roadmap outlines how the UK government will support the development of the sector, including the ambition for 10 gigawatts of low carbon hydrogen capacity by 2030, the commitment to establishing business models to support private investment, outlining direct government funding streams and a low carbon hydrogen standard to ensure that hydrogen produced and used is low carbon. As the hydrogen industry in the UK develops, the capability of the UK supply chain will increase across hydrogen goods and services. One of my department's key objectives is to support UK companies export their goods and services to overseas markets, including China. There are immediate commercial needs in hydrogen that the UK is well positioned to partner with in China. This is across blue hydrogen and green electrolytic hydrogen. Transporting hydrogen and its use in industrial decarbonization refueling and for fuel cells for vehicles. UK companies have strong potential to compete in the upfront design, development of, and IP intensive stages of hydrogen transport solutions, making these areas where the UK can build upon its strengths and capabilities within the Chinese market. More broadly, in 2021, my department conducted a comprehensive survey of hydrogen companies in the UK, finding that 66% of companies surveyed are already exporting outside the UK. As many of you will know, there are already a significant number of UK companies with a presence in China who operate in the hydrogen space, including, of course, Anglo-American. Only with the right supply of PGMs will success be possible to achieve meaningful green electrolytic hydrogen production capacity. PEM-enabled electrolytic hydrogen is projected to account for 70% of green hydrogen in the UK by 2030. This highlights the need for platinum and other PGMs to enable this, as these metals are crucial to the production of PEM electrolyzers. As in the UK, we know that China is driving forward with building up green hydrogen production capacity. The emerging synergies between the UK and China's ambitions for green hydrogen production, underpinned by PGMs, create opportunities for UK and Chinese businesses to collaborate. My department is here to support this, and myself and colleagues look forward to hearing about the emerging collaboration in follow-on from events like today's. Finally, let me fa finish by thanking Anglo-American again for the invitation to speak, and I wish this forum all the success. Thank you. Thank you.